Hey everyone, I have here the 2021 LEGO City Race Buggy Transporter Set. The buggy is a single seater and the transporter is a SUV pulling a trailer. The set also comes with two minifigs. You really don't see a lot of fuchsia or magenta type colors in LEGO City lines, especially these days. So this is a little bit brave, but I like it. It's a strong color scheme. And overall, this buggy is mostly inspired by the, the livery of the 2021 LEGO Technic. Uh, uh, RC buggy, which is based on a toy, but then this is more based on like a real version of the thing. So that's a toy of a toy, and this is a toy of something real that doesn't exist either. It doesn't matter. They're all toys, right? Uh, again, single seater, pretty straightforward design. Most of the the decorations here are with stickers. So a couple stickers there, one up here, a couple on the sides, but these are a new print. So we had a print very much like this before, but with uh, red on the base and then white as the backing. So these are light covers here that would be, you know, the, the caps that you would put on when you're running during the daytime. And I like that. And I like having a little bit of, a little bit of difference rather than just reusing the existing ones that were first brought out uh, about a couple years ago or so. These have the turning axles. So there's a single piece, that gray thing there is a single piece holder. And then you have a straight axle connector across uh, across the two sides, and this gives you some suspension action. The intention here is that you can see how it changes the wheelbase on either side a little bit, so it pinches in on the side when I lean, so it's supposed to help you to turn as you drive this thing around, but honestly, honestly, the turning radius is huge here. So you don't get a whole lot of, of value from that, especially if you're just, just driving it around yourself. If you're actually walking around with it, or you know, walking on your knees or something, or you have a large table in front of you, maybe that can work. But for me, I just mostly like it for the suspension action, which feels good, especially with these larger tires and everything. Yeah, that works out pretty well. Not a whole lot of detail around the back, but I mean, overall, this thing is pretty nice, except for this gap. I'm not a fan of this gap. I wish that could have been made into more of a, a proper, just sloped nose altogether. However, they needed to have uh, uh, some clearance for this to open up. I guess they didn't need to open that much, but you know, you want it to have easy access to the driving compartment, which just has a steering wheel there, and that's it. Uh, I also wish that the driver was actually protected by this roll cage a little bit better. The trailer is pretty simple, but very effective. It's nice and low. You have these ramps that come down in the back, come right down to the ground, and then the buggy can drive right up there. There's just a little spot where it scrapes, and I think that's just fine. Feels pretty good. And then the ramps do hold it in place, you know, so you get that nice pinch right there, so it's not going to fall off. It doesn't shake around. So that's all good. Easy to deploy it front to back, back to front. And you have a, a handful of little accessories that are completely appropriate for this task of, of taking a buggy around and supporting it. A little fire extinguisher there. That's a can of fuel and a couple of tools. This SUV is a familiar looking thing. It uses the same basic parts and building techniques as a number of vehicles that we've gotten before from the Lego City line, which makes sense because it is just continuing that line along, and it's also in the 5 plus range. So LEGO definitely does not want to have any complex building techniques. And a lot of the, the basic assemblies here are just known quantities, stuff that gets you success for a younger builder fairly quickly. And, you know, this thing, it works just fine for what it's intended to be. Those gaps, nobody ever likes to see those gaps there. And a lot of that can be easily corrected by just putting an extra little plate piece in there. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really too fancy or special about this. Doesn't have opening doors, does have just the regular ball hitch, uh, op open hitch on, on the back, which is actually, thankfully, compatible with a number of trailers. And there's enough room there for you to get a good steering angle on it. The roof comes off for access to the interior, and then there's no bar across the center. So you do have easy access. You can put two people in there in tandem, uh, front to back with just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of additional uh, space on the sides for maybe a little bit of equipment. No worries, you can really connect things all that well. That is a relatively new print for 2021 for the console. So just a little something extra and a steering wheel, and that's it. Here are the two minifigures, new torso there on the left with the dark azure for the blue color and reused torso print on the right. That still looks nice with a good level of detail. And I think both of these look pretty good. But what have I said in the past about Lego putting just generic figures into sets with a helmet and no hairpiece. I've said, stop it. Stop it. Just give us an extra hairpiece. Costs literally a fraction of a cent. Well, here, once again, they have listened. They've included an extra hairpiece for like a fraction of a cent. 
and that adds so much more value because now this can be a regular person just walking around the street. Or you can also have this be your race car driver, your buggy driver, and this guy doesn't look bald. Not that there's anything wrong with bald minifigs, it's just nice to have the choice, you know? So there are the few uh, leftover pieces, including an extra of that nice new print, and this was a sticker sheet, fairly small, seven on it. Well, truth be told, I had forgotten how much I paid for this set. So when I went to look it up just now, I expected to be bringing this box closer to the camera and saying, it's $40 US and I think that's too much. <laughs> Another overpriced Lego City set, but it's not $40, it's $20 US. And this puts a smile on my face very, very much. That makes this an excellent deal. Very happy about that. So it's a well put together set, you know, well packaged. I really appreciate, of course, the inclusion of a hair piece again, uh, but also the fact that the buggy and its specialized sports color scheme doesn't dominate everything here. Like this can just be used by itself. It can just be some family's SUV. It can be used for its own adventure. It can go off-roading. You know, it's it's not saying, hey, I am part of the that <laughs> uh, you know racing team or something. So there's a lot more value here by having it just be plain and relatively generic. Similarly, this is a fairly generic and effective trailer. It's not specifically made, unlike with the the plane transporter and boat transporters and stuff. It's not specifically made only to be used ever by this one buggy. You can just take a couple of the, uh, the two little jumper plates off and then move the stopper, the wheel stopper forward and back as a matter of fact. Okay, yeah, you, you would need to move that just a little bit, uh, but there, there's enough room there to where I could, you know, I could transport this if I wanted. If I wanted to hook this up to to an, an earlier vehicle that had the, the ball hitch uh, on, on the back, then that would work. So, you know, it's just more useful. You get more value when you have more versatility like that, I think. So good job with the design work, especially for a five plus set and the value turned out great as well. So yeah, my only real complaint here was just that little gap on the buggy. I, I really, really wish that that wasn't there so that this would look better. I don't know if it needed a different color scheme in order to pull that off or something, but yeah, I mean, that's really, really nitpicking. And Honestly, uh, it's not as bad in person as it looked in pictures to me. Anyway, that's that. Hope you enjoyed this. I actually did not do a build video for this. I just did the build on my own time, uh, but I will continue to do build videos for most sets, uh, both the pure build version, which is gonna be just in real time. It's over on the pure builds channel. So no background sound, no talking either, just the pure sounds of putting the pieces together, something to throw on in the background, or if you want to actually follow the build, you know, actually watch it in a reasonable amount of time, then I speed up that footage, add music and, you know, make it into a more compact package over on the Jang Builds It channel. So if you want to check out any of that type of content, videos are, excuse me, the channel links are in the video description and also in the end screen. And I'll continue to bring you more reviews right here. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.